Do you regard yourself as a worrier? I'm Damien Murdoch, and we're talking about taking charge of anxiety. And when I ask people with anxiety whether they regard themselves as worriers, almost without fail, they'll say, yeah, for sure. And there's a time and a place for being a worrier. Um, it's like anything, you know, your weaknesses are your strengths in a different context or a different situation. Like, for example, Richard Branson wouldn't fill his boardroom just full of people who can only see the positive in what he's about to about to do. He also needs some people in there who are focused on the things that can go wrong. So, you know, us worriers do have our place in the world, but it's not what you want to be doing when you're trying to execute something. So if you're kicking for goal or you're in the middle of a job interview, you don't want to be running mind movies of things going wrong. What you want to be doing is holding on to a picture in your mind of the successful completion of whatever it is you're doing. So if you're kicking for goal, it's the picture of the ball sailing through the goals. If it's a job interview, it might be the picture of you know the handshake you get when you're welcome to the firm, something like that. I was sitting in a course once with Peter Shaw and he was talking about this concept of warriors and what we do. And this really hit home to me. Worrying is about not setting a picture of what you want at the exclusion of others. No matter what happens, hold the picture. With your imagination, you're in charge. There's no, it wanted to go over here. You make it go where you want it to go. This is where we're headed, no more questions. Warriors are always fighting imaginary battles. There's no need to fight anything. And that was a really important realization for me when he said that, because I definitely had a lot going on in my mind whenever I was trying to do anything. And yeah, I was fighting a lot of imaginary battles in my head as well. So it's about returning to the picture. So if you're kicking for goal, if you've got a job interview, if you're saying a speech, it's about blocking out the external noise, shutting down any self-talk that might start or any mind move you start, you start running of things going badly and returning to the picture. If you're able to hold on to that picture, things are just going to go a lot smoother for you. And I've recorded a process or a tool to help you with this picture. So I urge you to download that, give it a crack. It's going to help you come up with that picture and then also bring it up vivid and bright in your mind in those times when you need to access it. So download that and I want to get you, want you to get into the mindset of really taking charge of anxiety because you know, if you've battled this for any length of time, there's no doubt you're, you're sick of it controlling you and controlling your life. So stay tuned here. We're going to uh, be going through more information, providing you with more tools to take charge of anxiety. This is Damien Murdoch, and I'm from World Class Friend. Cheers.